do we do we get to see the Deku Tree Scrub or the Deku Tree Sprout appearing? No. No Sprout now that the Goma's dead. So it looks like that really the only things that we can do at the moment in this version of the ROM hack is actually to um, this first dungeon and the one that is considered the sixth dungeon. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're going from the first dungeon to the sixth. The short gauntlet will provide you all the I with all the items the player should have before reaching the dungeon. Okay. Oh, and I, I would have needed the bow from the first dungeon to be able to get through here anyway. Oops. Can't give it to us for free, can you? Whoa! Style child, blades and arrows will bounce off their hardened bones. Use heavy weapons or explosives to beat it. Oh, so it's it's a tutorial on how to use the different things that you get. Okay. Megaton hammer. All right, yeah, that's definitely a heavy weapon. So, yeah, so in the original OOT, Stal Children just went down to a couple of sword swings, but not here. We got some roops. These are going to be bomb chews, right? These are going to be bomb chews. Oh, no, just regular bombs. All right, so we got some bombs now. Not bad. Yeah, I just gotta cook the bomb for a little bit and then throw. Boom, there we go. All righty, what's, what's up next? Three deads. Interesting. Remote bomb chews. What? Carry in place with C. Press C again to detonate. Okay, a clear upgrade over regular bomb chews. You just send them out and, uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah. See? I'm I'm able to change my stuff around. Alright, well, let's put the remote bomb chews here. And put this right here. Whoa! Oh, my God! <gasps> Oh no! I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> fuck. Oh fuck. Oh my god. That was that was the scariest fucking thing I have ever seen in a Zelda game. Oh my god. Freaking Ocarina of Time has jump scares now. Why does it look like raw chicken? I don't know. I don't think we want to know. <laughs> Fucking hell. That was the scariest thing that I've ever seen in one of these. Oh. Does it seriously just keep going until... Wait, look at him go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! Oh, it does blow up after a while. That's That actually makes me kind of sad. <laughs> oh my god, I kind of wanted to scan- I kind of wanted to scan that. I kind of wanted to have ta have Tail tell me what that was. But I just needed to kill it. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Ooh, a rock's, the rock's feather. That is, that is not what I was expecting to find. Up until this point, we've just been seeing Ocarina of Time related I items, but now we got the rock's feather. Equip it, equip it to see and jump with a gust of wind, even in the air. Oh, cool. Oh, that's all. Oh, and it replaces the it replaces the magic beans. That makes sense. Yay! Ooh. Okay. So what you're saying is that 
if we jump from here and then press the button, that Link can double jump now? Holy shit, my mans can parkour. Yeetus. Wait. Then how am I supposed to get up here? How am I supposed to actually get up here? Like that? I'm not sure if that was the right way to do that. That seemed a little bit wrong. Wow, Rock's Feather in a 3D Zelda game. That's really cool. Oh my god, thank fuck hearts. I'm pretty sure that these are going to be iron boots, right? Dear lord! <laughs> you can't do that. To, you can't do that to me, Luca. You you cannot do that to me after what I just experienced. I got jump scared in a goddamn Zelda game. Well, I mean, okay, Tears of the Kingdom notwithstanding, but Ocarina of Time doesn't do jump scares. I just got jump scared. I almost died to it. I got jump scared twice. Yeah. Okay, so for the iron boots, we can actually equip these to our C button menu, so we can go ahead and do that. Start choking, take off the boots. Wait, another chest? Okay. Well, I know that this is meant to be a gauntlet to get you prepped for the next dungeon. Water bombs. These bombs won't extinguish when submerged in water. So, they're taking some cards from Twilight Princess. Oh, it's actually a bomb upgrade. Okay, this, yeah, this is shaping up to be a really, really cool hack. Once we get, once we get to the more, uh, the more meaty bits of it, because this is mostly just a trial run. Unless this is actually longer than I think. I'm not sure. Whoa, there's a lot. The items in this room are all technically optional slash missable, so feel free to skip them if you want. Just take them. <laughs> well, I mean, don't gotta tell me twice. What do we get? The Master Sword, but it's broken. Oh, I haven't made a model for this, for this yet, but a better one will display here in the final game. Is it broke? Oh no, it's, it is just a Master, it is just the Master Sword. Ferore's Wind. Eh, I mean, it's Ferore's Wind. Oh, we get magic for getting it, though. Bottle. Ooh, a, a bottled fairy. Having a fairy is nice, because I have been getting my ass kicked. I haven't died yet. To my credit, I have not died yet. Oh. Boomerang's right there. I'm guessing that's because that we're not gonna we're not gonna be getting the wallet upgrades to be able to afford the one at the Kokuri shop. And the next thing is a Hylian shoe. Okay. Let's see, what do we want? Water bombs, bomb shoes, and iron boots should be pretty fine, I think. We got the hammer, we got the rocks, feather. Okay, I like this. I like this setup. All right. Whoa! <laughs> Hold on, let's try that again. Ye tuss. There we go. I'm guessing that this is meant to... Ooh, hello. Reminder, you've collected several items by now. Use D-pad down to flip through your... To flip your C buttons over for three more slots. That is probably one of the coolest features in this. I have to say. We got... We received Kiki's Piccolo. Kiki sent me a musical instrument? Yo! <laughs> I knew she had a musical soul. I sure hope I replace this filler text by the time the demo releases, or it would really or it would be really embarrassing. Alright, so we got ourselves this. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and replace the iron boots with that for now. The Requiem of Spirit. And it says to, pl it basically says to play that. 
It's an actual flu. Sonata of Wind. Skyloft Ruins? What? Wait, is there more to this than I thought? Is there actually more gonna be more to this than I thought? Skyloft Ruins? Oh my god. So I'm guessing that this is gonna be, this is basically just the dungeon, right? Skyloft Ruins, try jumping off. <laughs> well, you heard him. Yetus! Whoa! <laughs> oh. Oh, it, it actually didn't kill me. I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I really did think that that was going to kill me. What's down here? Oh, hi. I've heard this cave leads to the underground city of Sabrosia. I really wanted to see a Sabrosian up close. They're cute. I guess it's closed. This gate won't budge at all. Darn. It's not, it's not part of the demo. Okay. I think that we've done everything that we can to, before going into the dungeon. We'll be able to see what's going on here. Whoa, that's cool. Whoa, okay, hang on. I, I gotta deal with this guy real quick. Wait, I could've, I could've just. Ah, uh, of course it's Forest Temple music though. This is really pretty for Ocarina of Time styled graphics. This is a real pretty area. The forest temple music is uh making me a little making me a little uncomfortable though. What is that over there? Okay, we're gonna need to use the rocks better, I'm sure. No shit, no shit, no shit. Yellow bubble, mostly harmless. It's probably more afraid of you than you are of it. <laughs> Okay, we'll leave him alone then. No problem. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I I think I understand what we gotta do here. We gotta send a remote bomb to it. Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I gotta get, I gotta drill it in my head. Got it. Huh. Hold on. How am I supposed to get over that? Let me see. Uh, okay, I see that there's a hole over there. Light up the camera then. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to send a remote bomb to you in there as well. Nope. The remote bomb to you isn't wanting to go over. Nope. Yeah, it's, it's going up and along the path. What am I missing here? Because I can't... I, I, I can use the rock's feather to jump. And I can jump twice if I'm already in the air after having jumped off a ledge. But I cannot just simply double jump from the ground. So I can't get over this. Am I supposed to just huck a bomb over? Nope. Hmm. That didn't do anything either. Something tells me that I'm not supposed to be in here. I feel like I'm supposed to go to another or uh, another section of the ruins before doing this. Excuse me. All right, we got some fire here. We got a thing over here. Can I just pop up to this? Nope. All right. I kind of understand what I'm supposed to do here. Is there anything in this hole? There is not anything in this hole. Okay. And then I can use this from this position to basically hop to any of these platforms. What's this? That puts out the fire. Ooh, okay, so it's time. Crap! <laughs> the angle. 
Fuck. No, no, no. Damn it. <laughs> Give me the. No. Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, this is a little, uh, this is a little bit awkward. No. I want to kind of try to use the, the camera's own angle to get where I need to be. There we go. That's it. Okay. Thanks. Not really worth what I went through to go get to get those, but, uh, sure. It is the demo. It is the demo, and they I, I have to I, I have to acknowledge that they did give me all of the tools that I'll need for the dungeon. So those would probably be useful in the final release. I was expecting that to be a key or something though. Oh! Here we are. We're back in here now. Yeah, that's basically this is basically your way out. This is, this is a key. Oh, wow, whoa, this is a big room. What do we got here? It won't actively attack, so just try not to touch it. I would rather kill it. I would rather kill it so I just don't have to worry about it. Whoa. Um, yo, is that what I think it is up there? Hold on. Is that a grappling hook target? That's not a grappling hook target, is it? Do we get a freaking grappling hook? Going full Wind Waker in this one? So we got fire here, and we got... Ooh. Maybe I understand what I'm supposed to do here. Is there a world in which I can bank an arrow through? No, it's... No. This is elevated too high. I think that they probably added them to these... A added this elevation to prevent you from doing that. Light up a... Can I not light up a stick from this? <laughs> I'm sensing that this is not how I'm supposed to do that. Let's check the doors then. Oh, what do we got? Whoa. We got a lot. Whoa, why? Nya, nya. Peace. Get away from me. One of the most annoying enemy types in these games. That's a lot. White Bubble, do you ever think it gets dizzy spinning around like that? Oh, they're dancing. Is that going to get us? Uh, Yep. So they're not actually moving around randomly. They actually are moving in a pattern. Oh, red rupee for that. Not really much. The boss key is up there. But I'm not in a position to be able to get over there and get it. I'm assuming that there's a doorway leading from there. And I'm supposed to jump from that to get the boss key. I also don't have a key. So I can't get through that door beyond the key. So, let's instead go this way. I'm also very curious about that over there. What is that? Oh? We got one of these, uh, we got one of these, like, walk along the, walk along the things and change the colors puzzles. That's interesting. I've never seen one of these in a 3D Zelda game. They're all over the place in the 2D ones, but I've never seen a 3D version of one. Okay, there's our key. What's this button do?
I heard something go off. Oh, it creates platforms. Have Kiki and I got the Pokemon DLC? Uh, are you talking about Scarlet and Violet? Yeah, I played it on here. I think I gotta go through here and get up there to push this down so that I can get up there. Yeah, I got them. They're pretty good. I, I wanted to say something, but I'm not sure if you play. I I'm not sure if you've actually played through them all. So I'm not sure if uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I want to say anything because I don't want to spoil you. I was about to say it, and I'm just like, wait a second. Nah, I should probably keep that to myself for a minute. Oh, pissed. Oh no. Okay, it's one of these guys. Redead Elder. Let's just leave quietly. Shit. Okay, well it can't get me on here. You haven't even got the DLC yet. Okay, then I will leave I, I will uh I will leave it to myself. Let's just leave quietly. <laughs> They definitely got Tails a more quote-unquote cowardly personality. Like, you know, re reluctant hero personality, I guess you would say, down. Where it's like, you know, he knows what he's got to do, but he's like, I'm going to hate this, but I will do it because, because I have to. Whoa, what? Hold on. What in the fuck, man? What? Why was I getting hurt there? What was what was going on there? I, I can definitely stand on it. It's not like there's invisible spikes or something. Huh. That was very weird. I'm guessing I have to leave this room and go back through the key through the key door on the other side. I am not letting you Oh. Ball sack. Um this is going to be hard to time. Yeet? Yes! I made it. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is really disorienting. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop, camera. Camera, stop. Yeet! Okay. I made it. Uh, this looks like somewhere where a chest can spawn. There's another enemy. I can hear another piece. I swear I can hear their wings. There it is. There's one. I know that there's another one. At least one more. There you are. Okay, I see you. Knowing what you're looking for really helps. Is that it? Yes! Hell yeah! Got him. Goo! That could have been bad. Nut. <laughs> All of that for just a little bit of nut. Ow! Okay, doesn't matter how big you are, you still go down to a single hammer swing. Good to know. Got some more bombage. What's here? Ooh, okay. Some iron boot related. Okay, so what I have gathered so far from having played through uh, a good portion of this dungeon is that this hack is addressing an issue that pe that a lot of people seem to have with classic Zelda games, particularly the later ones, in that you will get an item in a dungeon, you will use it in that dungeon, and then you will never use that item again except for in like maybe a handful of instances outside of said dungeon. So it means that a lot of items and that a lot of items that have cool puzzle solving potential end up falling by the wayside because a dungeon is always like tailored to the specific item you get in it and never anywhere else but what this hack seems to be doing is it's actually allowing you to use previous items in later dungeons 
and mixing and matching the puzzles to account for every item that you get, which is already really cool in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes once we see what the refinements are that they've added in Chapter 2 once we get there. But I'm already noticing what they're trying to do with this. They want you to be able to use every item that you get in multiple different scenarios, even beyond the dungeons that you get them from, which is very, very cool. Yup. I had a feeling that that was going to be the case. What is it doing? What does it do? I bet you I know. It's locked up. I'm thinking that once... I, I'm thinking that you probably have to find another switch. And that it will likely make it to where it will periodically rotate between uh, facing one way and facing the other. So that way you're able to get the fire and actually get to all of those torches. I'm hitting the wrong button. There we go. Let's go ahead and pop down here. Here. Looks like we do not get, well, uh, we probably could get a Zora tunic at some point, but it's not designed around that. Ooh. Uh, we can abuse taking on and off the hover, the iron boots in order to extend our timer, though. Same as regular Ocarina. Now we gotta use some water bombs. Yetus. Um. Yetus. There we go. Go forth, Link. Or Lorne. <laughs> oh, is it mini boss time? Me thinks it might be mini boss time. Yep. Looks like mini boss time. Oh, dear God. Like likes. It lives only to consume. Consume everything. Stay away from its mouth. Nice Majora's Mask reference there. Oh, God. Damn it. Like likes are so weird. There we go. All right. What do we win? This is probably the dungeon item, right? No. <laughs> All right. Uh-huh. Well, what? Sorry about that one. I just don't know what to put. Uh, oh, I just don't know what item to put down here yet. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. <laughs>